Please adhere to YouTube selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. Do not, I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behavior shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to a banger with your boy Sebi G. We're out and about doing a review in public because I came to this park to do a couple of drone shots and other stuff that I'm working on that we'll be releasing probably this week for you guys. So make sure that you guys stay tuned for that. And I figured it's a beautiful day, a little bit on the colder side, not hot, and there's no one around here. So I was like, perfect for a quick little review and unboxing, right, ladies and gents? So it's a little bit windy, a tad bit windy, but. It is what it is, you know, I can't really do anything about that. We're gonna go ahead and try to crack this review out super quick and then give you guys my final opinions and thoughts, but we got a grinder, which you you don't already know what this means. This means that we're gonna be doing a flower device unboxing. Now, I don't really do unboxings of like dry vapes too much. It really takes a lot for me to be like, hold on, gotta get the little zinny out. It's, it really takes a lot for me to be like, yo, I really wanna review that device. It looks sick, it looks cool. It doesn't really happen too often with dry herb vapes, but there was this company that really draw, like drew my attention and caught my eye because the device itself looked super, super dope, right? So let's go ahead and cut the talking and get straight into it. And that device is gonna be this bad boy right here, which is gonna be the Planet of the Vapes Lobo, all right? It's one of their new their new freaking um, dryer vaporizers and I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it right here for you guys. And we're gonna go ahead and give it a quick little freaking review, right? There's people out here riding their bikes, enjoying the day. And it's a, it's a pretty nice day, I'm not even gonna lie. Like during the summer season, I feel like it's way too hot to come out. And as soon as it hits like fall and winter, perfect timing, honestly. You can get the sickest shots ever, and in my personal opinion, it's it's just like the dopest time to be out, right? You don't have to deal with any heat. So let's go ahead and crack this sucker open and get straight into it. We're gonna pack a fat bowl, break down the features. Now, there are a couple of things that they did send me other than what, they, what I have here, and that's gonna be the bubbler, and then that's gonna be another bubbler. So that's what caught my interest, right? Usually, these things don't come with bubblers at all. They just come with just straight up like tips, and this one comes with the tip too. But in my opinion, I feel like dry herb vapes are always missing that little water bubbler attachment, right? So we're gonna be filling this up with water. We're gonna be breaking into it, packing a fat bowl, and yeah, giving the final review. Let's go ahead and bust this sucker open. It's starting to pick up a little bit more and more windy, so I might have to take this back to the office. But real quick, let's go ahead and show you what this is looking like out of the box. Nice, neat look. Oh, dude, my packaging's flying everywhere. I'm telling you guys, we're gonna have to take this back to the office, but real quick, let's go ahead and show you the Lobo. Right here on the top is where the LCD screen is at. And yeah, man, I'm gonna go ahead and take this back to the office before I fly away. All right, and just like that, we're back at the office. Unfortunate, bro, a very, very unfortunate. I really wanted to shoot something outdoors for you. And over here in my area, we got this thing called the Santa Ana winds. And pretty much all over the Inland Empire, these strong ass winds just come in from time to time. And there's nothing you can really do about it. I mean, it's been windy for literally like four days straight now. And I thought today would have been the day that it would have just went away, but it was away for a little bit and it came back stronger, all right? So we're gonna have to finish off this review here at home, but it, it is what it is, you know? You gotta do what you gotta do. And let's go ahead and break straight into the items that we got in here today because we weren't really able to break into details about everything inside of it. So I figured let's go ahead and do that now, all right? So I believe we left off directly at the device, right? I believe this is where exactly where we left off. So yeah, let's go ahead and give you guys a nice little close up as you guys can see the fire buttons are right here to turn up the wattages or the temperature I mean right here it has another, I, I assume this is for like gripping or something like that. And then on the top right here is where the screen pops up. So let me see, go ahead and see if I could turn that on for you guys. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm actually not, it might, it might actually just be dead. I'm not even gonna lie, it might be dead. I'm not real. oh, there you, oh, yep. Indeed, it really, really is. Damn, dude. That's super, super unfortunate. It has a USB Type-C charger and I actually have a cable literally right here connected to my computer. So let's go ahead and connect that right now. And hopefully it charges up, at least so we can use it in this video, all right? So, meanwhile, we're gonna go ahead and tear this off right here. Let me go ahead and grab that, some little ASMR action. All right, 
that wasn't really too nice, but it is what it is, you know? So we're gonna go ahead and leave that to the side. And right here is where you fill it up with your preferred tobacco, flour. Obviously, we're gonna be using flour for today. And this right here is the mouthpiece where you could go ahead and switch off the tips, which I'm actually gonna get into right now, right? Because I feel like that's something that is a little bit of a game changer for me and it makes the experience overall just better. So let's go ahead and break into one of these. So I have three different ones right here, right? So I have this one right here, which is the dimpled stem, which is pretty much just another tip. And usually people would just prefer this just in case they want more flavor, whatever the case is, don't wanna go through that water filtration. And then you have the extra ones. I know they have different colors on their site and stuff like that. And then these two right here, what I'm more like looking forward to, right? So this one right here is gonna be the curved one, and this one right here is just gonna be the with a straight up mini bubbler, right? So in my personal opinion, I guess we'll pull both of them out and see which one holds more water. And then because I personally like one that holds more water, one that has a little bit more of a chug to it, I just feel like it makes the experience a little bit better overall. And I'm literally having to tear into this freaking box like crazy because it just wouldn't open but as soon as you open it boom you get it right there and this is pink it just I, it's a pink one I don't, I don't know i was expecting it to just be maybe like clear glass or something but no it is indeed just a pink little it looks clear on camera but i promise you it does have like a pinkish hue to it and this one looks like it might actually ha contain a lot of water in there. So let's go ahead and pull out the other one. I'm not, that one, I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna use that one to be quite honest with you. Not because it's pink, but because, I don't know, it does have a little bit of a different look to it. So let me go ahead and look up how, or look into how this one's looking. And this one's pink too. No, actually, this one is like a purplish, I guess you could say. So give you a little bit of a close up. And I think out of the two, this one right here might hold the most water, right? Out of the two, like, compare, actually, yeah, I don't know. It looks like they actually might be both holding on to the same exact amount of water. So I guess what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just use, hmm, God, I don't know. I guess we're just going to go ahead and have to use this one right here, right? Because the other one, I don't even know how to fill it up. Now with this, I'm assuming all you're going to have to do is literally just pour some water in like so. I'm not really too sure how much water you're even allowed to put in there. And it's literally just falling all on my lap, right? So it is what it is though. I guess that's the max amount of water that you could possibly put in there. And um, it's not too much. It's definitely, definitely not too much. Now, I'm assuming what you do is you grab your device right here, right? And everything is AI generated animation. You guys already know that. And then just stick it I don't know, bro. I don't know. This is actually kind of strange. So I'm not really too sure how this works. Like if it's supposed to connect to the top, like just like that. But I don't think it is, right? I don't think it is. I, I figured it out. So this piece goes down and I actually ended up putting water in from the wrong freaking side, my dudes. So, so far, I kind of really like the feel of this. It has a very nice, sturdy feel to it. On the bottom right here, I believe this is for the airflow. I could be mistaken, but there's a little knob right here on the bottom that you could go ahead and twist, and I believe that might be for the airflow. I'm not entirely sure, right? I actually might have to read into the manual to see how everything's working working and that's something that I usually I don't know I'm just like a lazy dude when it comes down to reading manuals right I'm kind of like just I just want to hop straight into it I just want to hop straight into it so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna leave this charging for a little bit I'm gonna come back when I'm actually able to use it and then we're gonna go ahead and get straight into ripping and give my final opinions and thoughts but before we move any further let me know down in the comments below how do you guys think this is gonna hit with the water bubbler attachment do you think it's gonna get some crazy good clouds do you think it's not going to get any clouds at all because i've had the times where literally devices just won't produce any cloudage no matter how high you turn it up so we're going to see if this one right here is a good well-built dry vape all right ladies and gentlemen so i think i charged it just enough let's go ahead and click it three times it says and then boom you got the v right there for planet of the vapes and then bro 
That actually is so sick right there, right? The haptic feedback on this very, very st strong vibration. Right here, it tells you the exact temperatures that it's going to. And then once it turns on, it's ready to start firing. It goes up to 430. And then literally as soon as you start seeing the vapor production come out, I can literally smell this. It kind of smells like literally just toasted buds. Mm. That was a slight, very, very, very slight smooth pull. That was a pretty decent cloud. It has a timer that it's running to until it burns out. It's like, I think it's like a three minute timer that it just keeps running and cycling until you pretty much finish it. But dude, with the water bubbler attachment, I feel like it cuts through like that background noise just a tad bit. And it makes actually, like it lets the flower present itself and it's actually pretty freaking tasty. Yeah. Now, personally, when it comes down to dry vapes, I only like to really hit it up until a certain time because after a certain time, it just starts tasting like just burnt buds and I'm not really the best, the biggest fan of it. But this right here is keeping up pretty well. Yeah, I'm getting a pretty good amount of clouds and it's giving me just like a nice toasty hit and it's kind of like smacking me damn near instantly. Oh yeah, that right there. Now it actually even made me almost cough just a tad bit, but damn, it does produce maximum cloudage. I mean, I did have it at the hottest setting, <coughs> which just so happens to be 430, but I'm pretty sure that you could probably get away with using this maybe like around the 400 mark and 375 mark, and it's still producing very, very nice cloudage, right? That right there, Wow. In terms of taste, like the first couple of hits were pretty fire, but then uh, like I said, after like a minute, it starts tasting a little bit more like, like less terpy and then like, like just straight up burnt flour and, and not burnt flour, but just toasted, you know, and I'm not the biggest fan of that flavoring. I know a lot of people don't really mind it, but I'm not the biggest fan of that flavoring in my personal opinion. And that's when I just put an end to it. But you get maximum cloudage and still, I just opened this freaking thing up right now, right? I opened it up and I'm looking inside and the buds do not look burnt at all. They just look like they've been roasting inside of an oven and just cr cr producing like the perfect amount of vapor production. And honestly, I'm zooted. Like this definitely made me, I don't really, like I said, I don't use dry vapes at all. So I think the fact that I'm using this and vaporizing the flower, then I just feel like that's what's making me just like smacked instantly. It's a definitely a whole new experience for me and the device itself is pretty freaking dope it does get a little bit warm if you're heating it up for a long time but USB-C charger ch charges super fast I like the fact that you could switch the variable wattages right here from like 430 so let's see how it go how low it goes I don't even think I checked that but this thing is honestly a beast and it's probably one of the best devices that I've used as of late or even ever dude in terms of like dry herb vape flower best device that I've ever used that actually works and it doesn't burn your bud and it produces the most perfect amount of terps right so 320 it goes down from 320 to high 420 so it does pretty good job right and honestly I'm gonna have to give this a good solid like 8 out of 10. In terms of what it is, you know, dryer vape, they executed it perfectly. Haptic feedback is amazing, USB-C charging, and the Planet of the Vapes Lobo, honestly, it, it's probably the best dryer vape that I've ever used, to be quite honest with you. And that's not me just gassing this up. This really is something that I might even use again, all right? And that says a lot because when it comes down to these devices, I usually never do, all right? So 8 out of 10, in my personal opinion, super, super dope device and then even after you're done like with the flower in here I'm pretty sure that you could use this stuff for like eddies so you could get two times the usage out of the stuff that you put in here right so that right there planet of the vapes logo 8 out of 10 let me know if I should review some of their products what products I should review next and we'll definitely hop into that but if you guys enjoyed today's video do me a favor by leaving a fat like comment subscribe and we'll catch you guys on the next one